don't like to insult you. I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. It's weird. Well, you see, that's a 9-8 rhythm. It's a rhythm we heard in Turkey while we were on the State Department. Now, well, now, look, don't blame the State Department for this. Your mother told me a little while ago while I was having a cup of tea with her. Now, now your mother's a great pianist who put the three of made stars out of the three brothers. She told me that when, even when you were a kid, you were the musical rebel of a family of musical classicists. And she told me something else. She said that your grandfather, <laughs> your grandpappy, who used to be a California stagecoach driver right out in these mountains, that he would have driven you right down the mountains if he heard you playing stuff like that. I'm afraid he would have. Yeah. And what's worse, my own father, when we played our first uh, concert at the College of Pacific, the interviewers asked him what he thought of it. And he said, that's the damnedest bunch of noise I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I gotta go along with your father now. Dave, isn't there something you could play that I could understand? That you could understand why, Ed, you're a square. You're, you're really square. I know, I wonder why everybody tells me that. Now, now what, have you got something? If you have, go ahead, play it. Well, uh, I could do I'm in a dancing mood and I'll even play the melody. Hey, for a Brubeck, this would be a novelty. <laughs> Take it all back. You are the greatest. You know I was only clowning because... How long ago did you start on our program? Back around... 19... About six years ago I was, I was on your show. About 1954. You're I greater... thought you were kidding. You're greater than ever. Thanks. Thanks.